What is going on guys, Rajai and I coming at you once again with some more Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited for the PlayStation 4. Today is just a quick little video, um, I've seen some people asking in chats and figure that some people on here may have the question as well of what happens when you beat the game? Um, I have been done with the game for just over a week now, I actually took a little break from the game for a little while. Um, just so I didn't get burnt out, but whenever you complete the storyline, regardless of which faction you're on, you have to go through a ton of dialogue. Um, I'd say it's probably about six minutes, six or seven minutes total of dialogue, just explaining what's going to happen next. But essentially what happens is you are given the option of con continuing forward with the game as the same character, but in a different faction so for the Daggerfall Covenant when you complete it you get to switch over to the Aldemary Dominion and complete the quest lines over there now this doesn't include the main story missions because you've already completed them and it doesn't actually change what faction you're a part of this is solely for the quests you're able to go through, pick up all the missions, and nobody knows that you're part of the Daggerfall Covenant, Ebonheart Pact, or whatever. But, you also lose um, anybody that may carry over. Any characters that you may run into that you had all previously met. Basically, they're just going to forget who you are and that you even exist. So you can't count on previous relationships or anything like that. I assume it would be the same thing if you chose to kill somebody that happens to show up over on the other quest line. You may have the option of keeping them alive this time around. But regardless, this is what happens. You just carry on from the Daggerfall Covenant. You go straight to the Aldemary Dominion. And I assume after you complete the Aldemary Dominion, you will go ahead and go into the Daggerfall, or the Ebonheart Pact, sorry. I'm forgetting the names of these for some reason. So there is no need to actually go in and create different characters just to be able to do this. Um, you will be able to, in theory, platinum the game just off of one character. Now there are a ton of different trophies, but one of the good things is that at least this way you will be able to get all of the dies. Now one thing I am going to show you really quick is in the achievements I believe. I believe it was here that I saw it. Um, so you will be able to do all of these. There was a checklist and I cannot remember for the life of me where that checklist is. But it's got a checklist of all of the uh, different things that you need to be able to do. Um, I assume that when you complete, say, the uh, Hero of the Aldemary Dominion, then you would uh, have completed this. Um, it's also a great way to get all of these little paints and everything else. But I'm sure there was a... Um, tre uh, checklist on this, but I cannot remember for the life of me. I think it was this one. Yes, here it is. This is Cadwell's Almanac. This shows you which quests you have to do in each area in order to complete the Aldemary Dominion. You can see I only have two more quest lines that I need to finish here in Ardon. Uh, then I'll go back over to Gratwood, uh, Green Shade, Malabal Tour, and Reaper's March. So not a whole lot to do. And then after I get those done. I will be able to go on over to the Ebonheart Pact. Um, that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little view of what happens when you beat the story. You do It does continue if you're interested solely in PvE. Now, if you haven't hit the veteran ranks yet, um, whenever you do this, everything you come across is going to be in veteran rank 1, VR1. Um, really not that bad. You can survive most of your encounters even at say a level 45 40 even I've seen 35s do it so you can do it if you have a strong build and if you're good with the game but um you will be facing VR ones and the bosses if you're not a high enough rank 
can be a real pain. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Again, just a quick little rundown of what happens whenever you complete the game. Uh, my next video will be coming out here in a couple days. I am going to go over the veteran rank, um, how the championship points work, the veteran point wheel, and probably go through all of the different points that way you guys who haven't reached it yet can start planning what you're going to put all your points into but thank you for stopping by don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have any questions or comments and if you just want to say hi go ahead and put that in the comments too because i do read my comments and i try to respond to every one of them so i will see you guys here in a couple days when i do my veteran rank video and we need to kill this guy real quick. There we go. Again, thank you for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.